What's going on guys? It's your boy John Liquidator coming back with another video. So it looked like Skip Bayless is finally admitting he was wrong about Caitlin Clark all along. Guys, for this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Skip Bayless is coming out of his sunken place ever since the cancellation of Undisputed, bruh, because he's back on the internet. Some people is happy about it. Some people feel a type of way about it. But he is definitely trying to reinsert himself back in the media space, dog. because he just dropped a new YouTube video pretty much breaking down Caitlyn Clark game, letting it be known he was completely wrong about her, bruh. Now, Caitlyn Clark is currently ripping up the WNBA. I've been reporting on it ever since they got back in action and I can tell you right now I don't see her slowing down anytime soon and people like Skip Bayless is forced to eat their words dog because Caitlin Clark is definitely living up to the hype and looking like she's making a run for the MVP that has been a huge debate in the last recent 48 hours a lot of these sports analysts and WNBA veterans was pretty critical about Caitlin Clark coming into this league what she has been doing ever since the second half of this season may Making these women look like amateurs. Caitlin Clark is simply putting on a master class every time she steps on a basketball court. And you can't do nothing but respect it as a player, an analyst, somebody in the media. It doesn't matter. Put some respect on Caitlin's name. And that's exactly what Skip Bayless did in his recent episode on his YouTube channel. I'm done talking. Let's roll the footage. Finally got COVID did have a bit of a fever, did have a migraine, and now I'm here to tell you I've caught a fever also. I've caught an Indiana fever, as in WNBA, as in women's basketball, as in I can't quit watching Caitlin Clark and her team. It is so fun to watch. I watch every dribble of every game. I am mesmerized, mesmerized by how I go against my better judgment again and again and again and forgive Caitlin Clark for her, her obviously glaring flaws. I forgive and forgive and forgive because her so good is so much better than her so bad. So good is so much better than her so bad because her so bad is so spectacularly close to her so good. Have I lost you yet? I'll explain. Let's look hard at what Caitlin Clark has done so far, albeit as an NBA rookie. Well, the bottom line is this team started one and eight because it had a murderous row of the schedule to start with, two against New York, two against Connecticut. But all of a sudden, this team has won 10 of its last 15 games. All of a sudden, this team has won eight of its last nine home games, mostly because of Caitlin Clark's transcendence. For a while, I wasn't sure she was Rookie of the Year. For a while, I thought her arrival in Chicago was a little better because of her double-double expertise and her commitment to offensive rebounding. Angel Reese. And now, I'm, I'm sorry, Caitlin has edged back ahead. Not only for Rookie of the Year, but I'm seeing a, a very near future MVP in this league. That's how gifted she is in so many ways. So let's look hard at what's happened. Do you realize, nobody talks about this. Do you realize that Caitlin Clark has already shattered the all-time single season record for turnovers. Think about that, she's shattered it and she still has 12 games to go. She has 155 turnovers. 
Last year, Alyssa Thomas had 137. That set the new all-time single-season turnover record, 137. Caitlin Clark is already at 155. Think about that, how bad that is. It, it's almost like if you tried to be that bad, turning the ball over, you couldn't because Caitlin Clark is now 53 turnovers, better or worse, than the second place in turnovers, which is still Alyssa Thomas, who has 102. So Caitlin has 53 more turnovers than Alyssa Thomas to lead the league to lead everybody else in the league, she's 53 worse than anybody else. Think about that. It's impossibly bad. And this team has won eight of its last nine games at home. And why do I forgive her? Because they're winning and because her turnovers are all mostly attempts at spectacular passes. So when she doesn't quite thread the needle through three defenders, I think, oh, well, I love it that she tried. And then she tries again, she tries again. She is completely fearless. She is without conscience, basketball conscience. She is without basketball memory. She'll try it again and try it again and try it again because you know why? Because Caitlin Clark leads this league in assists by 22. She has 232 assists, so you forgive her because it's, it's all trying to be spectacular. When she pulls off one of her passes and she is a gifted once in a generation passer, when she pulls one off, you say, my God, I'm not sure I've seen that before. Every night, Caitlin does one or two things where I say, Phew, I'm not sure I've seen that before. Her lead pass is up the floor where she gets the ball off the board, takes one dribble and lets it fly. Two in chest passes, touchdown passes from 60 yards away, feels like 70 yards away, are breathtakers. She keeps trying to be great, trying to be spectacular, trying to create highlights. And she often does. And when she fails, you shrug and say, next, because you know there's going to be a next. Would you? That was Kip Bailey's pretty much letting the world know he was absolutely wrong about Kayla Clark. But my next question is, what other WNBA veterans, sports analysts, is going to admit that they was wrong about Kayla Clark? Could we see this becoming a trend? But get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, man, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake the haters.